Hi guys, welcome to Polyadi's kitchen. Today we are going to learn how to make methi curry. Methi is called fenugreek and this is a simple curry rich in fenugreek flavor. It's called methi kolkar in Saurashtra or vendaya kulambu in Tamil. This is a perfect curry served with rice and papads along with some vegetable dish. Let's see what we need to make this curry. We need half cut onion, 1 teaspoon of tamarind concentrate dissolved in water, 4 to 5 tablespoons of homemade curry powder, need 1 teaspoon of methi seeds, 1 teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black peppercorns, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, half teaspoon of urad dal, half teaspoon of turmeric powder and quarter teaspoon of hing. We need water and we need sesame oil. We also need 1 teaspoon of sugar and little bit of jaggery. Let's learn how to make the curry. Switch on the stove on medium flame and in a pan add 3 tablespoons of sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, it's okay to use regular cooking vegetable oil. Add half teaspoon of mustard seeds, half teaspoon of urad dal, half teaspoon of turmeric powder and quarter teaspoon of hing. When the mustard seeds crackle, you can reduce the flame and then add 1 teaspoon of methi seeds and half teaspoon of peppercorns to this and fry them until the methi seeds gives a nice aroma. Just be careful not to burn the methi seeds because if it gets burnt, you get a bitter taste to the curry. Once the methi seeds are golden brown and gives a nice aroma, you can add half cut onion to this. Cook the onions for 3 to 5 minutes until it changes its color. Add some curry leaves if we have at home. Add 1 teaspoon of salt or you can add salt to taste. Add 1 teaspoon of sugar. This is optional. If you don't want to add sugar, you can avoid this step. I like the sweet and tanginess in the curry, so that's why I add sugar and jaggery to the curry. Dissolve 4 to 5 tablespoons of curry powder in 1 teaspoon of tamarind concentrate along with water and you can add this to the pan. You can almost add 3 cups of water at this stage. You can add 1 tablespoon of crushed jaggery at this stage and stir it well. Stir it well until the jaggery nicely dissolves in the curry. This curry is so easy to make for beginners and if you are learning to cook this is the best curry because it's really simple and easy to make. Bring the curry to a boil. Once it starts boiling, you can reduce the flame and cook for about 15 minutes. Methi seeds have lot of health benefits especially in controlling sugar. So you can add this simple curry to your diet on a regular basis. It's almost 15 minutes and see how nicely the curry has thickened. At this stage you can switch off the stove. Your world famous methi curry from the Pulyadi's kitchen is ready to enjoy. You can serve this curry with rice and puppets along with spinach and dal, beans poriel or any other vegetable. Make this healthy methi curry and enjoy with your family. Thank you.